Hello YouTube, this is the mount I made to put my dial indicator on the lathe. I took a picture of it. I did put some epoxy around it just so stuff don't vibrate. Uh, this was an old uh, dial caliper piece. This is double sided sticky tape. I did put some epoxy here. This piece is rooted to a piece of brass. The brass goes down here. I got some quarter twenty cap screws that I tapped in here. I filed this flat with a file. You can see where I had pencil lines on there. I needed a flat spot on a round surface. And then the, the it's bent more than a 45 to brass as it's bent. I got a picture of that. I had some other footage and lost it. Uh, we'll probably see if we can get you on the dial. And we'll fire up the lathe. Uh, so you can kind of see across, across here and there. And then we'll take like a thousandth each time. Now this is a thousandth each side. So it's two thousandths total. See, thousandths one side, it's going to be two thousandths total off the diameter. If you're not a machinist. If you're a machinist, you know what I mean. You probably know more than I do. So, stay tuned. We'll get the camera here so you can watch it in operation once. Well, I tried getting a tripod. Uh, said I don't care where zero is. Going thousands at a time. And... In the video, I'd mentioned I was going to put on the lead screw down in this part, but no, it's touching this, the slide, because you got backlash. I mean, I say that I'm going in, I have to go about a quarter, not quite a quarter turn. We'll come up here and we'll zero it. I said zero don't have to be at the top. The dial is just for reference. pretty small bit uh, we'll try to hold the camera we'll make a pass on here real quick I don't want to show this lay the whole lot I made videos on it had a little tripod set up it just there was that not that much interest I just want everybody to see this because I'm gonna make a few parts on it so here we go let me get this fired up we'll see how it works okay so I don't get caught in the belt we're gonna dial this in about a thousand Let's go to that's easier. It's gonna be four thousand total. Not a lot. You don't see a whole lot of brass coming off. Okay, we're gonna go five thousand feet side. So we don't want to push this lathe because that's what kind of tore up that screw thing in there. So I'm kind of looking at diagonals. See, that's like 5,000 feet side. This thing will spray brass all over your shirt. Last piece of round stock brass I have. So it's hard to keep the Gibbs tightness and make this easy to turn. And so that piece I made is in here. Uh, this, this is not reliable. I kind of checked it. One mark in this is almost like a thousandth and a half. This is not, I read somewhere on the internet. These dials are not accurate. Okay. So there you go. I hope you can hear me over this thing of humming. So I'll stab a couple photos. I said I have a close up of this. I just put the epoxy for vibration and stuff. You know, even though it wasn't really that flimsy. And the rivets are kind of handmade. They're lunar rivets that are hammering it without the shank in it. I'll show that in the video someday how to. Pick those lunar rivets and just use a hammer to put them through a hole. Shut this off. That's the brushes in there. I took the fan off. I need to cover this with something. I don't plan on using this lathe like I used to where this motor gets hot. The fan blade went on here when it was in a treadmill. So you can run an accessory off that. See that? You're an accessory drive. Okay. Thanks for watching. Just an add-on. See this? You can adjust this indicator in and out compared to what size piece you got on it. That's why I use that. So it's adjustable. You can slide it in and out. See what that's just touching the slide. Uh, maybe I'll make something custom made someday. But see the, the lead screw inside there with a hole in the center? It's just touching. Someday I'll put a bigger tip on there or something. But it works for what I need it for. Okay. That's it. We're out of here.